I'm Ross Miller. I'm an athletic training student at the University of South Carolina, and today we're going to be performing abdomen. So first what you want to do is you want to position the patient. So we want to make sure that their legs are raised up so that we can relax the abdomen. Um, we want to protect the patient's privacy, so if we have a separate room or something, we can do it in there because we are going to lift the patient's shirt. Um, so we'll raise the patient's shirt up just like that. You can tuck a towel or whatever over them um, if you need to protect their privacy any more than that. So I'm going to heat up the uh, head of the stethoscope a little bit because it would probably be a little bit cold. Um, and then just begin listening. So when you're listening, um, you want to do multiple different locations when you're listening. And so the max you'll listen for is three minutes in any given location. Uh, this way you can hear any sounds because uh, they're not going to happen automatically. Most sounds that you're going to hear are going to be perfectly normal bowel sounds. Uh, the lack of sounds um, can be related to uh, if the patient has gas or if they have constipation, things like that. Um, there can be a lack of sounds. Any lack of sounds after three minutes, um, then I would refer the patient to go see uh, the doctor.